in a few weeks, we'll be selling this house and everything we can't fit in this bus and hitting the road full time. But there's a little bit of a problem. She's not ready to be at home just yet. Okay, it may be more than a little bit. So subscribe and follow along as we push through the setbacks. I'm just some idiot converting a bus in his backyard. What could go wrong? And the interruptions. She locked the keys in her car. And managed to take a couple more projects off our to-do list. The bus is completely insulated now. Good morning. This week, we're gonna begin building out the last and final cabinet that's gonna go above the driver's area. Once this cabinet is complete, then we'll be able to insulate, we'll finish insulating, and then we can put our ceiling up, which is gonna be super exciting because that's gonna transform the space entirely and make it actually look like a home. So let's get started. So this piece of wood is gonna be the back of the cabinet, and this is where the outlet goes. So I use this, cut out this to get these weird little cuts here because you gotta be able to like cut around these little mounting points for the outlets. Sanding, paint it, and then start mounting things to it. All right, so we're gonna have to put this project on hold because I just got off the phone with my mom and she locked the keys in her car. The good news though is I have the spare key because it's my old car. We're gonna go drive it over there, save her $75 for a locksmith. Let's go. So we just pulled into the plaza where she should be. Now we just gotta find her. We found her! Bye, Mom! We're back, side quest complete. But unfortunately, it is near five o'clock. That means I need to get out of the house with the kids, so. While Beth is working at home, I am taking them out to do something. And today we're at a park, and then we're gonna go get something to eat. In order to complete the upper cabinet today, I have to create the other side of this. Problem is, this is the last three quarter inch piece of birch. The plan is to take this, trace it onto this, and then cut it out. And hopefully piece it all together and it works out. If we mess it up, then uh, yeah, I gotta go buy more wood. And that's not good. This will probably take all day. So we should get started.
I'm not really sure what it is, but I sure do have a knack for spilling some screws. This is one thing you can count on. It's I'm gonna spill some screws. I'm gonna attempt to put this up by myself. I know it's probably not gonna go well. Beth is unable to help me right now because Joey's not feeling well, so I guess I can stop and do something else, but. Ooh, I really wanna get this done. So we're gonna do it. Is this a good idea? I don't know. What well, could go wrong? Oh, man. Oh, no. So close. No. All right, we can do this. It's not going up. We almost have something. It doesn't help that these Crocs like fall off my feet. It's time to put them in sport mode. Oh, I see what it is. Crap, it's this. Man. All right, I'm gonna stop recording here. I know what the problem is. This should go up now. Oh man, it's hard to do. I can't do this on my own, man. Dang it. So close. What the heck, we're gonna try one more time. I can't see where the screw is. No way. No way. Oh, baby. Did we do it? I think we did it. That was my bit. And it's down in the crack. Oh my goodness. That is a massive cabinet. There was no air in the tank, so I needed to start it up to get the air to, it's an air seat, so. It looks really close, but when you sit on it, it goes down a bit. Might be good. I don't think I would want to change it anyways because it would be super tiny and this is gonna be sweet to have. So I think it'll be worth it. So today is a pretty important day. We got our last box of Havelock wool, which means we can finish insulating the bus and once the ceiling is finally insulated that means we can move to installing our ceiling planks We're almost finished. We just have the bathroom and a little bit more in the hallway and we're good. I have been doubling it up. I don't know if it translated well on video, but I would put a layer across and then I put a layer across this way. And that's because we had the space since our furring strips came down a little bit lower. Hopefully that helps. It should. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, definitely don't do what I do. Consult a professional. I'm just some idiot converting a bus in his backyard. So I have no idea what I'm doing. We did it. The bus is completely insulated now. So we need your help deciding what we're gonna do for our ceiling. Here are the options. Option number one, we match the walls and we do shiplap. And in option two, we're gonna go with a stained cedar plank. And this smells so good too. So let us know in the comments below, are you team shiplap or are you team cedar? And if you wanna see the finished product, make sure you guys subscribe 
because next week we're gonna be installing one of these. And we'll see you Saturday. Maybe Sunday.